and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about going to the University of St. Andrews in Scotland as an American. Now when you go to the University of St. Andrews you always get told this joke like the first second you're there um, and it is St. Andrews is basically the 51st state because there are so many Americans at St. Andrews. So anywhere you go there's Americans, many of the professors are Americans, um, and you really don't feel all that out of place. So I'm going to kind of make three categories in this video. I'm going to do housing, class, and then this just general life at St. Andrews. So to start with housing, I was living in Agnes Blackadder Hall. Agnes Blackadder is, I think she was one of the first women to attend St. Andrews. This is the largest hall on campus and just really nice. Having lived in American accommodation versus uh, St. Andrews accommodation, it's like a world of difference. There's almost all single rooms. You get a double bed, which is absolutely massive. Your desk and your closet, everything is built in, super nice. Um, and you even get your own bathroom. In St. Andrews, they actually call these wet rooms because the shower and like the toilet and sink area is all one room. Um, so when you shower, everything gets like steamy and wet, but it's just kind of the way the Scottish do it, I guess. So housing was really nice. In Agnes Blackadder Hall, we did have a dining hall. I was on the dining plan. Um, you have about five choices uh, when you go to eat of uh, like what you want to eat. There's always a vegetarian choice. There's usually two meats and a pasta. And then there's always potato. Like you cannot get away from potato. And if potato isn't a main dish, it is always a side dish. I like could not eat potato after the first month. It was just actually insane how many things that you could do with potato. Um, but the food there wasn't amazing. It's not like the American supersized meals. They are usually pretty small um, meals and nothing special. So because of that, I went out to eat a lot, which I will talk about a little later. Um, my dorm was actually right next to the science buildings and then it was also next to the first golf course so if you ever want to go golfing you are right on the golf course and you're also right on the beach uh, which is just absolutely beautiful I wake up in the mornings and could run just miles on um, the beach and there are also multiple beaches and you can run through the town it's just absolutely beautiful so to move on to classes, um, the classes there are very different from traditional American classes. So your classes are going to be around, I think my smallest was about 65 people and my largest was like a 450. Um, so the first day you come to class, there aren't even like enough seats for people. So people are sitting on the ground, standing in the back um, because they don't have that many lecture halls because it's such a um, old school and you're going to school in real, these like really old buildings. Side note, it is really hard to find a bathroom in those buildings um, because of that. But anyways, you go to the class first day, everyone shows up. Um, you just kind of sit there, the professor talks to you, it's not a lot of dialogue, it's always lecture. Um, and then in like the next, the coming weeks, it kind of just dwindles down in people to the point where by probably the third week, there's about 20 people in class out of the 65 person lecture. Um, and it's usually Americans. Uh, the Scottish people don't, or I guess, European people don't go to class a lot, um, which is really funny. So you have usually two classes a week plus a tutorial. Everyone has to go to a tutorial. That is like the new rule at St. Andrews. Um, and in the tutorial, I had between two and 10 people. Um, so tutorial, you go in, you've done your readings, and you just have this discussion for an hour about the readings. So it really makes up um, for not having any discussion in the lecture portion of the class. And it really gives you the small, intimate um, kind of classroom vibe that you don't get with the lecture. And then also grading wise and assignment wise for classes, your St. Andrews classes usually only have about 
two to three assignments for the whole entire semester. Um, that can either be two tests, maybe three papers, something like that. And these are each weighted like 50% of your grade, 33.3% of the grade. Um, so you aren't really doing assignments all the time. Uh, like you could go weeks without having to do anything and then take this exam. Not a good idea, don't recommend it, but people will definitely do that. I mean, some people get by with it. Um, I don't, I always have to go to lecture and actually like learn right there, but it's just a very different way of, you know, educating than they do in America. So that was just really interesting and fun to experience. The grading system in Scotland is also one to 20, which is nothing like in, um, in America. There are no like A's, B's, C's. You either get this number. So between 17 and 20 is like your A range. It's really hard to get between 17 and 20 and to actually like progress in your major uh, at St. Andrews, you have to get in that 17 to 20, I think it's actually 16 to 20 range to like be a psych major, to be a business major or something like that. Um, but most people usually score between 14 and 16, which is like kind of your more average range. Um, so the grading there is just very different. It is actually very difficult. So at St. Andrews, there's really this culture of being in class and working from nine to five. And then once it hits that five o'clock point, like no one is doing work anymore. You are out partying, you are out drinking. There's, I think like 23 pubs at St. Andrews alone. Um, you're out hanging out with friends, things like that. Um, so as an American, when you get done with school at three o'clock and you come home and you do your work at night, it is so different in Scotland. You do your work during the day, you get it done, and then at night you chill out and do whatever you want. Um, so that was very kind of hard to assimilate to, uh, but also just a really good practice to bring back to America in my everyday life. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was just life at St. Andrews. St. Andrews is such a fun little town. Again, you have like 23 pubs, you have the golf course, you have the beach. Um, and then since you are on university housing or property, um, you have the clubs, you have the sports team. So there's just never a lack of things to do. There is an old castle in St. Andrews and um, just a whole bunch of little coastal towns that you can ride your bike to and visit. So it's a lot of fun um a big thing that we do is bonfires we have bonfires all of the time on the beach um it's just a really good time and then also st andrews has a really amazing bus system so you can get anywhere you want in st andrews via the bus system although i walked mostly from my housing unit to st andrews and all my classes it was about a 20 minute walk so it really wasn't bad and st andrews weather doesn't get too cold or hot it stays around probably 50 degrees fahrenheit which really isn't bad i just would recommend walking shoes and then the bus station also takes you to Lukers train station. And then from Lukers, you can actually take a train into Edinburgh that takes about 50 minutes to an hour, which is so amazing. Like this is the best train ever. Um, it is so fast, it is so easy to maneuver, and it is so cheap, it is so cheap, um, which is amazing. I went into Edinburgh probably every other weekend i went for the christmas markets um ice skating shopping just all of that fun stuff and then to go like sightseeing too and then also while you're at st andrews as an american i wanted to travel so i went to france i went to italy multiple times so venice florence rome um i went to london you can also get a train down to london um dublin so i just went honestly everywhere i could go because it is so cheap traveling from scotland to anywhere in europe my i always say my uh flight to paris was nine pounds which is like a deal of a lifetime it was on Rainier, um, and then there's also the other one, I think it's called Easy Air. Those flights are always super cheap. They're super bad. You like can't bring any bags besides your carry-on, but it is so worth taking them and just going with like one outfit because you can just explore everything while um, you're in Scotland and just Europe in general. 
So I think that is definitely a plus to go to college there. And then also St. Andrews attracts people from all over Europe. So I had friends from, you know, France, Italy, um, one from Prague, things like that. And they would want to take you to their homes in all of these different European countries. So um, you could fly there with them and stay there for free and they would take you everywhere since they are a local. Um, most people know multiple languages which is something i'm very behind on um so you could really take one of your friends almost to any country and you would know the language you'd have a place to stay and know the best best place to get food and then lastly i will talk about just the food in st andrews um previously i did say the food at the dining hall was not amazing but we do have some really amazing uh places to go and get food in st andrews the best st andrews food is either uh, fish and chips or weirdly enough um, Indian food so I got fish and chips and Indian food probably once a week I would like switch off fish and chips and then um, Indian food and I also went to Thanksgiving fish and chips and then I did um, Christmas at a place called Forgan's uh, which is probably one of the nicer uh, restaurants in town and just so good it is uh, they source all of their food locally and they do all of the American holidays which is really fun um, so you can go there and celebrate but my favorite fish and chips place is called Tail End. I highly recommend if you go to St. Andrews you have to go to Tail End all of the time. They have the best tartar sauce. I did not think I liked tartar sauce before this but it is so amazing. The fish and chips are super fresh. You can like see them making them and you can also buy fish there um, to make your own fish and chips. They have a sit down in the back and it's just like everything that you could ever want for in a fish and chips dish. <laughs> so that is all I have to say about St. Andrews. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more about St. Andrews or more about my college experience, I just got into grad school, so I'll make a video about that. Um, then please subscribe. Bye.